We've got some Battlefront. The not the update is still not here. Um Someone needs to phone a spy and ask if they're actually okay. You know, I don't want them to be uh going a bit haywire. Uh the recent news anyway. Uh there really isn't that much. Um I've got some emojis I'm making for the weekend and memberships will be live. So very soon. What are we gonna have the flipping title of the stream? Update is gay. Um Update let's do update soon, bro. That's like the most clickbait one. That'd be hilarious. Update soon. Tonight. No, I'm I'm joking. I don't actually know when the update is. The update is never coming out. It's never coming out. Bro, when is the actual update out? I haven't had any crashes though, so we're actually chilling. We're gonna do some Battlefront 2. Because, like, honestly, Battlefront 2 is the only way to go. If you ever look at this game and think, oh, I'm gonna play some Battlefront 1, you've got it wrong. Because Battlefront 2 has actually got populated servers. You've got no populated servers in, in the other Battlefronts. You get. YouTube on first. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm actually rushing it, bro. Um, YouTube. Uh, the app. The app of YouTube itself. Welcome, people. See you all join. Hope you're well. Hope you've um managed to kill some droidicas in the last in the last week, and uh, the last couple of days. I mean, bro, I haven't been non-streaming for that long. Uh, we just test everything's pretty chill, even though I think it is. Um. Also, as well, there was a guy who was in our Battlefront 1 game called Dodge Dread or Dodger Jed or Roger Dodger. I don't know. Hold on. Uh, okay, everything's working. Well, what's, what's up, Scotty? Hey, doing, bro. Did the update dropped yet? The update's still not dropped. I don't know what they're doing. But yeah, this guy, I've been subbed to him because I did a raid on his channel, Dodger Dread. And uh, I think he must have been streaming. Last uh, last stream or something, well yeah the the last stream we were playing because I saw his name as the ATST player, and then I got killed by him. I got killed by this nerd, bro. He was just on the all game, just trying to fire shots at me. It was horrific. Um, but you know I think he's some battle from one pro. I don't know. We we're playing for Lucia. I'm not, bro. That that dude's gonna like sweep the floor with me. Felucia, H1Z1 style aiming. Let's go, Donnies. The, be the best class in the game. Oh, 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 look at the shots already. Oh my god, it's disgusting. I didn't know there was a guy up there. What's he doing? Bro, I'll smoke you. Oh my god. Played two days ago and it's better, but still not great. What's that? Is that is that a PC? Was that was that? I don't know what I'm talking. I'm just trash. Yeah, was that on PC? Is a or is this PS4? Oh come on! I wanted to get that kill. Why has got to take it from me? But yeah, I, I was watching tons of people making these videos, um, basically just talking about like, oh, you know, where's the update and everything. And it's kind of funny because some of these guys are getting like thousand views on their videos because nobody is actually talking about this game. Like none of the big Battlefront YouTubers are doing anything. They're like, nope, the game's abandoned. We do not care. Why is there a whole cluster of nerds over here? PS5, PS4. Huh. Well, I know the hit 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 reg is uh still trash. It's still filled with problems. So I'm an idiot. Chaz, I'm not... G bro! What the actual... Welcome, but... What? What? Chaz, how's the studying going? Have you managed to... Uh, get a 147? Get a complete sweep? A stars before the exam? 
Bro, look, Sharky's on the other team. Is this actually Sharky from Pro's Hunting Grounds days? I feel like it's gotta be. Uh Yeah, everyone's talking about bro, where's the classic collection? Still City Sniper. You can go check out his channel, it's pretty decent, mate. I saw him join the stream. Uh and then I just saw him uh, make the video. I don't know, maybe I gotta make a video on the flipping update because it's garbage. Grizz, what's up? When's the update? Nobody knows. It's just like it's just lost in the wave of of everything. Uh Angelo, what's up? What's the server right now? I'm playing uh I don't know, it's Felucia. Literally it's like the only lobby that's actually like got people in. Like every other lobby's got like nobody in, and this lobby's got about thirty people in. Felucia about friend too, basically. Update getting delayed. That could be a possibility. I think if the update was to get delayed, though, people are like, oh, well, the game's over and it's over and dusted and done with and there's going to be an apocalypse. Bro, bring the apocalypse. Bro, nobody actually is... They need... A, I don't know what's going on. I might, I might have to make a video. The video might be tomorrow, though. On just Battlefront 2. Where is the Battlefront update? Um... You'll watch it, I'll make the video, and then the update will come out literally during that night. I have to delete the video, mate. It'll be cancer. X Defiant, not heard of that. Imagine getting an update delayed ten to five times. Bro, I'm shooting straight at him and he wasn't taking any damage. Oh my god. Anyone see that? Oh my god, I'm a money I'm a money wizard, bro. That's my new term, really. I was listening to this song. And uh, this, in the song, is it, it, oh my god, I'm just getting mad headshots. It ain't my fault, the money's on the rise. Oh my god, get smoked. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. They didn't post on the Twitter or anything on updates. Why has it been this long for apps to come up? When a PC was two weeks ago. It's actually been two weeks. I think it's been a week. We've got to give them credit there or something. Um, but yeah, the 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 update has just been uh, a catastrophe. I need to infiltrate a spy headquarters and, like, fix everything. What's up, Jordan? How you doing? Call of the of game that was hyped, but everyone stopped caring because it got delayed. Well, this is the thing. Like, even if this game was to get fixed, bro. Like, bro, there's people making videos on the update, and I've never even heard them before. Even though I like, still see United the time that I did. And he's actually a good fucking guy. But, bro, people just make videos like saying, where's the update? And they're getting thousands of views because, bro, nobody's talking about Battlefront. All the YouTubers have left. They talk about, what is it, still flipping Azertrues talking about flipping Outlaws, bro. What are you going to do talking about Outlaws for? Nobody cares. And like it's funny and people put like all the information onto the video thumbnail and title or whatever. They're like, oh yeah, Outlaws has got um online and it's on the thing it's like bro, I saw it on the thumbnail that it says it's online. I'm not gonna watch your video now. Unlucky, hold the L. Oh look, this dude up here. Oh just 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 die, mate. I'll oh, just die. Jump trooper how you doing, bro? I'm literally playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 2005 on the PS2 right now. Bro, are you playing it online? I fell asleep, had a good sleep. Well, you gotta have, you got to have a good sleep, innit? Some people can operate with, like, zero sleep capacity, but... No, i got to have a little bit. Um... But, yeah, at the moment I'm just kind of, uh... Just kind of chilling. I've got to take this call. Hold up.
Hello, are we back? Sorry, my grandma was phoning me and I didn't want to... I, I can't, like, not answer my grandma. So, you know, I just had a quick chat with her. Um, sorry, how's everyone doing? Um, you can't play online on PS2, certainly. I like Zero Sleep the last couple of days. Damn, bro. Jackson, what's up? How you doing? Bro, uh, just got a 178 yo to kill streak. Holy shoot. This is on the new battlefront. Uh, on Supremacy. I'm upload it. Oh yeah, I may as well. Supremacy, does it count though? Oh bro. By the way, I was getting some really nice shots there. Oh, I've been ran out of ammo. Um, Din, how you doing bro? Everything's comedy, how you doing? Um, what, uh, won't the first person view help with aiming? It, it kind of does, but then... At the same time, I kind of just switch, really. Um, bro, how's everyone doing? Like and sub guys if you're new, if, uh... Enjoying the content. But yeah, I was just looking for my grandma. Um, yeah, I'm on the I was on the phone. Uh, but yeah. Just chilling out. Um, dude, I just finished Galactic Conquest. Very nice. How? What was the overall experience? Did you get any more issues or anything? Because I know some people were saying they're having a lot of issues. Are they? You have to like. You do have to like flip and lead your shots a fair amount. Was it really like this in the PC version? I'm not. It didn't feel like it. You know, you got to tap fire and all that. Um, Fodder, how you doing? When is the patch coming out on console? Um, I don't know. It's just, bro, they're just being gay about it. I'm just, they're, sh they're straight up just... I'm go I got killed. Um, yeah, they're just, uh, they're being really quiet about it. I think the update is probably going to get delayed like 5 million times. Um, the new South Park was rated a 3 out of 10. Apparently, um... Apparently really shows how far gaming has fallen. Well, this is the thing that was funny. I was watching some things about the, uh, the South Park game. It was, like, really hyped up. People thought this was going to be, like, the best game ever. Bro, it's a South Park game. How is it going to be good? Like, I, I don't know. I don't really get it. But people thought the game was going to be, like, a masterpiece or something. Um, unlucky to them. But, yeah, I don't... I, oh, my God. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not really bothered about South Park anyway. Was uh, 
Was my mic actually muted there? Yeah, I think everyone everyone was good. I didn't wanna I didn't wanna like flipping leave the stream or anything or you know, I just wanna chill. Okay, we're alright. We're alright. But yeah, like and sub guys if you're enjoying the content with the fresh the fresh stuff. The fresh news. Whenever the Battlefront update does eventually come out, I will be covering it. But I might make a, I might have to make a video tomorrow. Where is the update? That's what we need to know. Cause my money on the rise. Bro, I, yeah, I got some decent shots though. I got some decent aim. I will say so myself. Oh, bro. Bro, what's up with these rollies? I'm gonna kill them. Hard to I mean, judge sometimes, but you know, there's something. One thing that annoys me the most is the FPS drop when they're hosting a server. See, I've never I hosted the server like once at the beginning and everything, and then uh, yeah, I wasn't really bothered. Oh my god, come on! I thought I would have at least got a nice shot there, at least. I don't know. Nearly 20 people in the chat, like and sub. Um, also as well, if anyone does want to join, I'm literally just on the main server. Apparently you can invite, I don't know, my uh, my username is rogue underscore one underscore triple zero. But yeah, I, I, I don't know what the... Uh, bro, I'm not killing Dooku, bro. I'm not doing that. That's rude. So, what's really weird, I'm not sure if anyone saw that. When I died, it doesn't look like there's a flicker screen. But there's like a like a shudder. Like, what does that even mean? Like, I, I, I don't know. Diddy, what's up? We apologize for the delay. It's pushing the update out. Um, there's been some unforeseen issues with several of the changes. Oh, shoot. Yeah, bro. I, I've got sacked like day one, bro, from Aspire. They don't like me. Um, I, might have called, I might have called one of them gay or something. Um, I also might have said that... Um, you know, EA are actually better about friend games. And yeah, they, they got really, really pissed. So, unfortunately, I got sacked. So I didn't really know much was about it. I was hoping that you would join and, you know, drop some news, which, you know, luckily you have. Thanks for that. Um, I can't believe Aspire actually just dropped me like that. Like, it wasn't even that bad, bro. I literally just said one small thing. Um, there was a difference of opinion on exchange of heated words. Yeah, you did hear about that as well? Yeah, like, it wasn't that bad. Like, I was joking. Some other dude just straight up was, like, being a racist. Like, he was worse than me. And, like, he kept the job. So, I think Aspire, like... Bro, like, I don't know. Maybe I just, like... I, I don't know. It, it was It was really strange. So, yeah, there was, like, a... There was a racist, and then there was, like, a... Like an, uh, what was it called? Like a feminist. And they were straight up, like. Bro, it sounded like one of them was, like, flirting with the other. Like, bro, it got really weird. It's, don't work at Aspire. It's just, it's just weird, bro. I don't know. I don't like him. How is that dude not dead? Oh my god. This this monkey dude is needs to die. I don't like monkeys. Like what monkeys have got to be the worst creature on the planet, right? There we go. He's dead finally. Um. Elameo, they stole my money. I pre-ordered the classic collection. You didn't get the refund. You didn't cop the refund. Right? Some people are copping the refund. We could just do what I do and keep playing. Someone, welcome back. How you doing? Any news on the patch? Nah, mate. It's just straight up, like, apparently coming soon. I don't know. Apparently it's been, like, delayed or something with, um, they got to get some authorization. Bro, who made this whole thing about, like, oh, Battlefront needs some, like, authorization to, like, post an update onto PlayStation and Xbox? Bro, I don't, it doesn't make any sense. Bro, this is, like, a, like, not a AAA game, of course, but... 
Oh, is it a triple glide air game? I don't even know. But it's like one of those things like, bro, it's just an update. They're not like committing World War 3. They're not like trying to blow up the world here. There are a bunch of chill people. Um. Oh, come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're just a nerd. You're a nerd. Oh my god. It's going to be my moment of triumph. What, I come back? Oh, I'm dead. Bro, what zone mobile people really been cooking? Eggs on their phone. What do you mean? Sounds like an aspire excuse. It's a pretty good term, that. Aspire excuse. Ooh. They've aspired on their excuses. Aspire ported one of my favorite games, The Zombie. Besides crashing issues and some points in the game, it was good. But this just hits still awful. Bro, wait, so you're saying that that had crashing issues as well? D did the Republic Commander have any issues? I don't, I don't know. Maybe it did. Like and sub, guys. We're up to 24 viewers. Hope everyone's well. Hope everyone's been... Uh, um, cooking droidicas if you even got in the game. Even if your game is laggy, what you should do right now, it's probably one of the best investments you can do, is to, um, join my game, you know. Of course, like and sub, but join the game, right? Kill every droidica on the planet. Even if your game's laggy, it doesn't matter. You're helping the cause. You're helping the, the brotherhood, as they call it, you know. Warzone Mobile. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't know how people are actually like good at playing a video game on their phone. It's from the autistic people. There's no other, there's no other explanation. I'm so dead. Eh? No, I'm not. Oh, I thought it was gonna cut the health. But yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really make sense at the end of the day. Look at this Donnie just sniping in the in the little sniper tower. Wish we could just kill my own teammates in this game. People think I'm, that's like stupid or something, but. They got run over by a Hellfire droid. And then I, I was going to say, bro, if I didn't get that guy. Ooh, we got some uh, award damage reduction. Bro, I took like tons of damage there. What, what the hell was that? Oh, bro, we're not getting killed by a spider droid again. Shoot, I actually nearly ran into it. That's not funny. What's up, Sparrow? How you doing? Oh, you're autistic. Oh, shoot. Um, well, I hope you get better. Uh, no, I'm just... <laughs> uh, okay, right, I'm just going to shut. Then again, like, is autism really... Okay, I'm just going to shut. Every time I say something, I'm just getting... Okay. Rogue shooting a power droid for 10 seconds straight and nothing registered. Some of those shots should have registered. Some of them were misses. Sorry, well, I wouldn't be able to join your game. You don't appreciate my playstyle. Are you actually a droidy campaign? Diddy, this is how you work for Aspire. If you're a droidy campaign, then you get full privileges to work in for Aspire. You're a sellout, Diddy. You're a sellout. I thought I was working with some like, bro, I thought I had some like inside guy here who was going to give me like all the updates or whatever. You, you, bro, you sold me out. I don't believe it's what I said. I think, even though I called them gay, I think you just straight up flipping, like, ratted on me, bro. That's what happened. A spy wanted me dead now. Autistic droid come in. And you, wait, and I put me on, um, you on, bro. Yeah, actually, that's one thing, bro. How can you, be, bro, like, I understand, like, you know, like, you know, some people are autistic, you know, it's the luck of the draw. Um... To be autistic and a droid come in, that's on another level. <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry if I sound like a douche. I'm just making jokes. Um, but at the end of the day, if you do play droidica, then, you know, there are some meditations you could probably do or something. I don't know. Autistic. Artistic. I'm sorry, I'm so good at this game. We're going to cook these nerds. And we're going to sell it on the, the the Chinese market with the with the shark fins. Shark fin soup plus droidicas. The new menu. Oh my gosh.
Or does this guy just not want to die? How's the update? Uh, Spirit of Records, it's not even out. It's not even out, mate. Welcome there. Yeah, I don't know. They're just, they're just not cooking. They're not even releasing it. Ah, oh, we're dead. Meditation includes rolling into a bowl. Bro, if you play a joydica, all you have to do is roll into a bowl and you're sorted. It doesn't make sense. When has it ever made sense to play a joydica player? Bro, who unsubbed? Like and sub. We're 1 off 30. 6.30. Is it because I said, bro, I didn't mean, bro, it's all jokes. It's literally all jokes. This is what happens when I roll my mouth. Don't worry, because um, what I was going to say is that we've been accepted into the YouTube partner program. And we're going to take over YouTube. I've got some banging emojis, right? The emojis is going to be this, right? It's going to be a, a clone trooper, okay? With like three scratches down it. You know, the rogues uh kind of classic scratch. Same one for a predator mask from the film Predator. It's gonna be bang. The dogs are going at it. I don't know why they gotta be like this. Congrats on your new partnership endeavour. Thanks a minute, mate. Yeah, we're I I'll go to sweat out on the weekend, but it's not bad. I, I thought they were gonna, <gasps> bro. When they the, when they said they were reviewing my channel, I straight up thought that they were just gonna like look at my channel and just straight up ban it. But we're chilling. Bro, I don't know why the dogs going this mental. I had to wake up at three o'clock in the morning today, right? Because the dogs were going insane. Oh, look at all these nerds. Oh, look at these nerds. We just first person there. Their skulls to. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's cook this noob. Okay, we're taking over the. We're taking over the planet. Cats don't do that. Yeah, but cats are grumpy. When is a cat never grumpy? But then again, that's the good thing about cats. Maybe I'm just gonna be a. Bro, maybe just cats are like the better option, really. I used to think, uh, uh, bro, you've kind of just changed my whole interpretation of cats now. Because it's like, well, actually. Oh, bro, I thought I was going to dodge that. I thought I was well out of range. Um, yeah, if you think about it, cats are like straight up. Uh, bro, Sparrow's in the game. we got Jack Sparrow in the game. Is that you, Sparrow? In the, in the chat? Um, what was I saying? Um. Yeah, like, cats kind of just do their own thing, which I kind of like. You know, as as you grow older, I would say, well, me personally, it's like, bro, I just want to be left alone more and more. So I'm kind of feeling quite similar to cats, really. I quite like cat. I think cats are cool. Bro, is this like a bad take? People normally say, oh, dogs are gangster, dogs will never leave. Bro, but then again, cats are just like, they're just cool. Like, I wouldn't own a cat because they hate, they hate their owners, a lot of them. That's why they like live outside the house the most of the time. They just do their own thing. But yeah, like cats are kind of dope. They're better than the aspire dev, the aspire devs. I just can't, hit, just can't hit a shot. We've a That's not you, bro. I thought that was you. I thought I had some friendly. Well, then again, I died by someone called Kick Jack Sparrow, so you know that wouldn't have been nice. Wouldn't be nice at all. I don't know. They might get to a point where I don't want to get PlayStation Plus anymore, and I just straight up just play Battlefront 2 on the PC. I don't know. I might. I might have to. Uh, oh my god! I got like two headshots on that nerd. That was actually not bad. Well, Jordan, are you still here, bro? I was actually joking. I'm, bro. Bro, Jordan. Oh, 
Oh my god, we're cooking. Oh, we're cooking. You can't say I've got bad aim in this game, man. Oh my gosh. I'm like the pro. The pro. I'm the guy. He's not the guy. I'm the guy. How do we know he's the guy? I'm the guy. Oh my god. I'm smacked. But yeah, it's been um it's been an interesting few days with this game. What the hell? Why can't I hear anything? Why is the game so dumb? Can you guys hear me? We're back! The audio just decided to kill itself! Why does my why does my PlayStation do this? This is the reason why I don't really want to get PlayStation Plus anymore, bro. I just feel the fact that my PS4 is just cancer. Headset disconnected. I will disconnect you to hell, mate. And okay, I thought it kicked me out of the party. Oh, bro, I turned up the volume. That's why. Are we back? What's going on? I just want to straight up just kill all the nerds at PlayStation. Can you guys hear me? Why does it keep switching my microphone and shit? Oh my god, I just ran into a nade. What the hell? Right, this glitch happened to me, like, the other week, bro. I'm not having any of it. Let's kill this Jack Sparrow nerd right now. The game is cursed. The game's definitely cursed. You can hear me there, right? Should be able to hear me. Yeah, yeah, testing, testing, testing. Why does it say I've got no flipping volume? Bro, have I actually got no volume? What's going on? Okay, this has got no volume, but you guys can hear me. Bro, this is gay. Screw PlayStation, bro. I want my Battlefront refund. I want my... <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about. Our reinforcements are thinning. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's up with this. Like and sub if you... Um, I don't know. I don't know. Just like and sub. There's no reason to just not like and sub. Let's kill this nerd here. The Bob and Spy. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna smack him, mate. I'm gonna smack that nerd. Paris, how you doing, bro? I was actually creating... I'm not even joking when I say this, right? I was creating this story, and the main bad guy is called Paris, but with a U and 7A. And I was thinking, where have I heard this name before? It sounds very familiar. And you're there in chat. But I'm pretty sure I came up with his name before you joined the channel or something. I don't know... I'm not saying you're like a bad guy, but Paris is a gangster name. I don't, it kind of sounds like Paris. Or so. So, yeah, when my book goes worldwide, Skynet fied, um, and you see the bad guy's called Paris, because um, it's a slight different name change, bro, you ain't getting royalties. <laughs> bro, I deserve to die. Interesting. What's up, Shane? One hour stream? It's not been a one hour stream. Shane, I accidentally said to some guy in the chat, right, that, like, bro, if you're autistic and play a droidica, that's, like, some of the worst luck you could have ever had. And, um, yeah, I think he unsubbed. Uh, bro, Jordan, if you... Bro, jo Jordan. Jordan. Uh, I hope he ain't mad. Bro, it's this monkey dude again. Bro, register, register, register. Oh my god. We're getting cooked. You think the patch update will save Battlefront? 
Well, it could do something. It could, uh, yeah, definitely help out. Did I just get blown up? Oh, we've got the flicker screen back again. Well, it doesn't even look right. <laughs> Why is there a dark dribble on Taunton? But yeah, I don't know where Battlefront's going. Honestly, this was my... I'm not even joking. This sounds really bad. But I was genuinely hoping that the Battlefront Classic Collection would fail. Now, the reason for this is because I can only get the Classic Collection on PS4. And I've got the OG version on PC. And like, still there's tons of people on the OG version. So... Uh, yeah, I was kind of like, let's go. The game's dead. And I can go on PC. Because it, it was like the only one game that was like... You know, I could just like chill out and play, and like it was, like it was an older game and whatever, and and like it actually ran on my PC. What else do I have? Like Fallout Shelter? I'm not playing Fallout Shelter. Shane is cool. Apparently so. I heard he he made a video with Azza the other day though, but we can't confirm. But yeah, they're, they're, they're my honest thoughts on the game. I, I did kind of want it to fail. And it's worked out amazingly. No, I'm just... Uh, the guy known as Will, what's up, bro? The only way they could uh, save this game is that they fix the servers to make the game... Um, the game free for a time. Even Battlefront Ears 2 was marked down by five bucks. Well, that's the thing. And then they came out on PS Plus for free. Yeah, make, just make the game free. Make the game free, and, um, I don't know, after a little while, like, you've got to think as well at the end of the day, right? You've got, like, tons of people that play some of these, like, games on PS4. Like, you go on the PlayStation Store, right? And you've got all these people, and they're like, oh, yeah, um, oh, I want to play this game, but it's like, you've got to pay for it. It's like, the game's not bad, but, like, you wouldn't pay for it, you know what I mean? Like, this game should have been, like, five quid. <laughs> like, max. It's a game from 2004 for crying out loud. Okay, it took a little while there cooking, and now we're dead. Eep made videos. Did he actually? Yeah, that's the thing. It is the online. 35 is a lot. Yeah, I'm not too, like, I'm not too crazily bothered, but... What the hell is this nerd doing? What is this nerd doing? He deserved to die. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like... Yeah, I, I, I think it is just well too overpriced. Make it free to play. Uh, how will they make their money then? I don't know. Maybe our spy should just be gangster and just keep it how it is. Some people paid 50. I know some dude, right? Oh my god. And like in Egypt, apparently you can't buy games straight out. Right? So you got to, uh... Like, get someone to get you Steam codes. And that costs even more money. And, like, it almost, like, doubles the price of gaming. Which is kind of hilarious. I'm going to pay for a 2004 game that takes up 72 gigabyte. Bro, I had the award gun as well. I've, I literally had the award gun, like, twice in two streams. Oh my god. Tap firing is the way though. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the uh, gigabytes though. That's just... That's just whatever really. It actually runs so well on PS4 because PS4 is actually really quiet. But yeah, the um, the problem is where... Uh, like they could they they definitely could have made it less, right? Like, bro, was that Wookie taking ages to go? Four thirty-five quid was for the servers. Um, they couldn't even deliver that. Yeah, well, that's the thing. They did AI change textures or some trash. It doesn't. It doesn't make much sense. What they should have done. Done exactly what they should have like done already. Fix the servers. There's no need to like make new graphics and everything. I was uh, like, bro, just make Battlefront 3 in it. But this game should be costing six bucks. Why not five? It's more than EA Battlefront. Yeah, bro, you can pick up EA Battlefront on like eBay for like 
flipping two quid or something. Apparently so. 20 people in the chat. You know what I'm going to say. Like and sub if you're enjoying. We're going to play some sniping content here. Sniping news. Um, and then after this, I've got, I've got to keep an eye on the dog. So I'm going to be watching some uh, Genesis Evangelion. Bro, it's one of the best shows out there. Oh my god, the no scopes. We're cooking. What do you, what, what uh, Shane, how do you even how do you even come up with these sentences? Oh my god, we're just destroying. Yo, I'm back. What's up, Muskoon? I actually did listen to that video, by the way. Uh, there was a few, so I'm not sure what you were talking about, but they're pretty banging, the song. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Bro, I'm so bad. Bro, I don't know why I'm so like stupid whenever I talk. It's not bad, they should need to fix servers. Yeah, fix servers and it's sorted. And hit raid. Uh, thanks so much, man. I think I subbed as well. If I haven't, bro, I should sub, bro. Everyone sub to flipping Muskulin in the chat. If I'm saying the name right. I swear I did. Still City. Bro, I didn't. I feel bad. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Everyone sub flipping Muskulin in the chat right now. Uh, go to channel. There we go. I remember the reason why now is because I wasn't on my uh, was on my phone. I watched on the TV. 4K HD limited muscoolin channel. It was it was banging really. Hold up. Oh, I'm getting cooked. Zendaya is overrated. Bro, that's one thing. Like. She's not even a good actor, okay? Like, when people go like, oh, yeah, like, oh, I don't like the character, but, like, oh, the actor was good. No, shut up. The actor was bad. People say that of Ray all the time. It's like, they go, oh, yeah, but I hated Ray, but, you know, like, like, uh, flipping Daisy Ridley was a good act. No, she isn't, bro. You, your search history is literally Matthias' search history. I mean, the name Matthias Peterson is, right? He had a search history, uh, and he put it on a video, right? He's like typing on YouTube some guy's channel and it comes up with Ray Hot. Okay? That's the only reason why you think she's a good actor. She's not a good actor. She's actually the worst actor on the planet. So all these nerds are just sellouts. Oh my god. But yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to go down the Ma Ma Matthias Peterson um, explained saga. Of events. Bro, everyone got cooked. Daisy really can't act. That makes weird goblin expression. Bro, yeah, exactly. Bro, she like... I don't know what it even it is. It's like... I don't even know. I don't even know, bro. It's, it's kind of like a weird ook whenever she's surprised by something. So yeah, she's not a good actor. If you think she is, bro, I could act better whilst eating olives. Yeah, she's just she's not a good actor. Uh, she's a really horrible actress. I tried watching Euphoria with your girlfriend. I couldn't stand her acting. It was cringe. What even is that show? Isn't that show supposed to be like stu super weird? Or something? Am I? Um, I'm dumb. Yeah. Don't, from, they're, they're also, they're all like Satanists anyway. Isn't they? Zendaya is a Satanist. That's the new emoji. 
Uh, actually, if I made that emoji, YouTube have to review them. Uh, bro, I'll, I'll be smoked. I don't want to get banned from YouTube in like the first week of memberships when we get it sorted. Oh my god, it's garbage. You couldn't even finish the episode. I know, it's just a natural, humane response to not watch something that garbage. She cannot, she can't pronounce Skywalker. She says Sky Vodka. Or, yeah, I don't, bro. Like, she pretends to be British as well. She's not even British. She's American paid for. That's one thing that would like be horrendous, right? Imagine you wake up one morning, you've got your whole British identity, and then s someone just goes straight up to you like, oh yeah, you're gonna go to America and be an actor. And then it's like you lose your accent. Oh my God, I could imagine losing my accent. Bro, we're not taking the droidica. Diddy, we're not taking, bro. First of all, Droidic is racist, okay? How's the Droidic racist, you might ask? Well, here's the thing. What is, right, the the inside of a Droidica, right? It's flipping, um, uh, what is it? Like, silver, right? And then on the outside, it's brown. Now, the normal droids themselves, like the one I've got here, the only reason why it's like a different color on the outside is because Bro, it's been through some, like, wars and everything, like, uh, bro, it's, whatever. But, like, so the droidic is basically, like, oh my god. Oh. Yeah, you understand my point. What's up, Jackson? How you doing? Sorry, I was on the phone earlier. I saw your comment, but, yeah, I was on the phone. I was busy. Andrew, St <laughs> Andrew Tate is Starkiller. Let's go. That's actually a strat. We need Andrew Tate is Starkiller. Disney, hi, Andrew Tate is Starkiller. I know you don't like him, but, bro, it would be perfect. It would save people from depression. He'll, he'll have a line in the, in the film going, Depression isn't real, okay? Save the goddamn world. And then he brings down a Star Destroyer and he just causes havoc. Oh my god. I was going to say, how do I not kill that dude? Andrew Tate being... Okay, what? Um... Natalie Portman is way better actress. Well, she was, like, uh, with, you know, her earlier films. I have to be fair, I haven't seen many of her films other than Star Wars. But, yeah, she was she was as good as Padme in, in Star Wars. But, like, and then, like, the older she got, like, I guess the worse she got. Bro, what? Welcome to turn. How are you doing? Yeah, uh, we're just talking about Andrew Tate being um, a star killer. Oh, my God, what a headshot. Who saw that? We just took out Jack Sparrow, okay? With the best, the fattest quick scope headshot you've ever seen. Oh my god. This is disgusting. Hold up. How did I not get that? I feel bad about myself. I feel like I've just committed a sin by not getting that kill. Oh, it's beautiful. I know he's in a turret, but... Oh! I haven't got Django! Oh my god, I'm the best! Spirit, what's up? G3 Realm, what's that mean? What the hell does that mean, bro? We're playing... <laughs> bro, we set fire throwing nerds. Fat Django Shriek right now. Watch it, hold it, breathe it in. Django Street Galore. You'll see it. Aiden Ross is Kylo Ren. Aiden Ross is 100% Kylo Ren. Bro, how was that not a kill? Second of all, how do I get a headshot like that? I'm not playing the droidica. Um. Are you high? He can't be Star Killer. Andrew Tate can definitely be Star Killer. Why would the bro? At this point, it's almost like Disney, bro, they're stuck in the mud with Star Wars, even though they're being paid for to try and ruin it. 
But like, if they actually wanted to bring back Star Wars, all they have to do is make a Star Killer show from an Andrew Tate on the on the front poster and everything, and they're sorted. And he goes, "My name is Andrew Tate." And then he goes, like, there's one scene, and he goes, "You're gay. Interesting. Interesting." Um, what else is there? Uh, maybe, maybe he calls Vader a brokey or something. That'd be pretty funny. Just call Vader a brokey. Just a little quick one-liner. You know how to do like a little homage or something? Yeah, just do that. Best streak for sure. Bro, I got... Bro, Disney like hired devs to try and kill me for that kill streak. Disney actually hired devs to try and kill me in that kill streak. That was uncalled for. Rory, read my comment. Hold up. Whoa, 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 hold up. I'm trying to provide some good gameplay and I get run over by a droidica. This is worse than I imagined. Andrew Tate is Snoke sitting on his chair from Romania. On a face. Why would he be Snoke? Bro, Snoke's not even a G. Snoke just dies. What, Aiden Ross is going to kill Tate? I don't know. No way. Uh, what is the dude's obsession with Andrew Tate? Uh, what? Uh, uh, <laughs> Bro, the, the thing is about Tate, right? This is the truth for Andrew Tate, right? He says some stuff about Star Wars, but it's all true. Bro, at the end of the day, like, Star Wars broke the amount of plot points and plot conveniences in Star Wars. And the amount of, like, garbage that goes on. Like, bro... There's so much problems with the Star Wars films, people don't realise. They all gloss over them. Is there really even a good Star Wars film? Have we, have we have we come to this conclusion that it's not really even a good Star Wars film? People are like, oh, well, why do you like Star Wars? Bro, I used to like it, but I don't think there's even, like, a good... Is there even a good Star Wars film? I'm, bro, I'm, I'm putting this out here. This is a hot take. I'm making a video on this in the future. There is no good Star Wars film. That will be, that will be the overall topic. Because I just don't think there is. I think it's a scam. Like and sub guys, 20 in the chat. Revenge of the Sith, episode 3. Okay, right. Let's do a debunk on Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the goddamn Sith. Right, let me think about this, because I haven't thought about episode 3 in a little while. So... Where is the plot convenience of plot points in episode 3? Ah, here we go. When Anakin goes to, um, take out Forbidden... What's his name? Uh, what's it called? Um, when Anakin goes to take out Mace Windu, well, like, he sees, the, he sees Palpatine and Windu fighting, right? He just turns up out of the blue just before Palpatine's about to die. That's got to be some Paul Ryan, right? Can we, can we understand that? Can we understand that it's some Paul Ryan? I know then again you got the end of the day where people say like, oh well it's actually like a, you know, like a bib, uh, a biblical kind of story and like some things are supposed to be coincidental but yeah that's a bit, that's a bit poor. Um, what else is there? Uh, but but that, anyway, that's, that's my main thing. What's up Carl, how you doing? This game seems to be lagging and sucking lately, for me at least, last night. It's running chill for me mate. Some people are having issues. The update's apparently coming, but in like probably Christmas or something. I'll make a video. I'll make a. I'll make an update video on Christmas when it does actually release. Rory loves the Last Jedi. The Last Jedi is full of plot conveniences that even like a toddler could like look at them and be like, "That is gay." A toddler's first words after watching the Last Jedi are, "That was gay." Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Or well, they just so. Or maybe they just go like, "Oh, that was." That was something, oh, I don't know. Maybe they got, like, liberal parents or something, I don't know. Oh, yeah, Watto is the key to everything. What happens if Watto actually did accept Republic credits? Boom, end of story. Boom, boom, boom. So that No, I'm joking. Um, what else did I miss? Phantom Menace is good. The Phantom Menace, let's talk about the Phantom Menace. Maybe The Phantom Menace is probably the only story that makes sense. But then again, 
They find Jar Jar. Qui-Gon finds Jar Jar out of the blue. Just like that. Boom. So, there's luck there. Boom. I'm just... I'm exposing Star Wars right now. This is my Star Wars expose. The amount of coincidence. Here. I get it. It's supposed to be like some sort of biblical story. But it's just... A, it happens a lot. I don't know. I like a bit of like... I don't know. Prequel trilogy is a masterpiece compared to the trash they make today. Yeah, there's not there's not a lot of great films, let's be honest here. You saw an image of Lionel Messi driving his car with Watto next to him. <laughs> if you're not enjoying Star Wars, what is your favourite universe? Ooh, here we go. Planet of the Apes. The first Planet of the Apes film is a masterpiece. Um, probably one of the best films ever made. Well, the book, the book for it is actually really good. Um, yeah, Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes is banging. I'm trying to think now, is there any convenience in Planet of the Apes? There's not really, is there? Because they get captured by the apes. And there's this whole kind of meshes thing going on. He tries to escape, gets captured again. And then the apes actually help him. No, it actually makes 100% sense. So there's not really any plot convenience or... And everything makes sense. It's written perfectly. Honestly, Planet of the Apes is just a perfect film. The first one, at least. You know, the second, uh, you know, the other ones you could maybe pick at. They're still enjoyable, but um, and I like the costumes and all that. But yeah, the the first Planet of the Apes film is a is a masterpiece. And that's not even joking. Like that actually is a masterpiece. There's no like, there's no like garbage involved there. Like I can understand. Like there's some cool moments in Star Wars. I like, I like a lot what goes on in Star Wars, but. Bro, the films. There's a lot. There is. There's a lot of issues. Maybe I'm alone on this. I think I've just created a whole new cult. Of Why do I make videos on Star Wars then? I don't know, mate. <laughs> I was trying to hop in that to get the health pack. It's not even letting me get the health pack. Oh, there we go. Planet of the Apes: Capturing of Biden. That is one of the. That's the next film coming out. Batman movies are good. Um, Clone Wars cartoon was a joke and Disney was a joke. Clone Wars cartoon was a joke. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in Clone Wars I don't like either. Um, sorry, what, there was that message there. The Batman movies are good. Now, the Batman films... Um, let me think about this for a second. I do like him. The Dark Knight is, pretty, is written pretty well, I think. Maybe there's some things I'm missing there. Um, Batman Begins I was never really a fan of. The Dark Knight Rises, I actually liked Bane and all that, and it was a pretty decent plot. Uh, yeah, they're actually, yeah, they seem alright, really. They're up there, I guess, some decent amounts. Fast and Furious movies were also good. Ah, yeah, not being a fan. Bat Nipples, bro. I think Vin Diesel could play Darth Bane. Oh, yeah. I didn't realise that Vin Diesel was a filmmaker at one point. Um, we got jokes here. No, I'm I'm dead serious. No, I don't I don't I don't, I don't know. Like I, you know, I've got problems with films. I think I've just become a perfectionist in film critique. Except for him surviving a crash from space by leading into the only small um, pool of water anywhere near. Well, actually, that's um. I guess you could critique that. Um, yeah, they, the, the, the astronauts in Planet of the Apes, they crash from their uh, trip and there's a massive pool of water. I guess, yeah, I guess you could actually, I don't know, I, I think that's all right because like, you can see like, bro, there's like tons of lakes everywhere and then mountains and everything. So I think I kind of leave that one alone. I think that's all right. Um, also as well, like... I understand like some sort of plot convenience because you got like of course you got Star Wars it's supposed to be biblical and then the Planet of the Apes films are supposed to be like some mad paradox so you know I can, uh, you can take care of what you want like and sub guys for the epic gameplay for the ultimate strategy the strategical plays um but yeah uh, bro never even watched Star Wars, especially Clone Wars. 
No, I definitely watched them. Clo Clone Wars, though, they ended Clone Wars so badly. The Ahsoka Maul episode was good, and Ahsoka should have died right there and then. That's it. Ahsoka's done and dusted. And it didn't happen. They missed their one opportunity. Disney missed their one opportunity at actually trying to do well in the franchise by killing off Ahsoka. And they, they messed it up. Um, Michael, what's up? 2001 Space Odyssey. Um, no convenience. Well, I think that is a big problem with films. And I get they're trying to be like some sort of like spectacular kind of epic or something. But convenience does flip and ruin a lot of stuff. And you notice it in the films, you know? What's up, Mash? How you doing? Sky, Sky, Sky Vodka? Is that, is that actually a racist? Or Dizzy Ridley? I don't know. Justice, how you doing, bro? The way Darth Maul was killed off was a joke. Um, are you talking about when he was like finally killed off in Rebels or when he was killed off in the film? Because yeah, there's there's that actually in The Phantom Menace. Like he jumps up and then... Well yeah, Obi-Wan jumps up off, off the ledge and it's like bro, Obi-Wan's got like so much time to just get sliced in half. So what uh, what is there? Yeah, there's uh there's, there's that. That's the thing. And like it, a new hope, bro. I talked about this the other day. A new hope is literally like the whole thing could have been stopped. If they just blew up the ex the escape pod. There was no reason not to blow up the escape pod. They didn't need the plans. It's not like they lost the plans. You're gonna have multiple copies of the plans. Of course you are. Why would you have one copy of the plans and leave it on some super high security kind of thing? Also, it's like basically a computer system so you know that doesn't make sense R been Return the Jedi Luke Skywalker like trying to um uh what's it called trying to actually uh like devise a plan to free Han Solo doesn't make any sense they all just go in act like idiots they all could have been killed off Jabba could have just straight up like or people would be like oh yeah but he knew that Jabba had an ego what do you mean Jabba had an ego Bro, if I was Jabba, I'd just be like, I'll oh, screw you guys, kill you all off. Even if you had an ego. Oh, because you wanted to kill him in the, in the Sarlacc pit. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Bro, I've got so many videos I want to make about all this. Problem with Season 7 of Clone Wars was that they tried to connect it with Rebels. They try to connect everything with all the shows. It gets to the point where it's so confusing that I just want to pull my brains out. Threads? Absolutely no convenience. I've never seen that. You want to tear your ears off whenever you hear Ray and Malphite. Yes, that is, um... That is something that is, uh... Heard a lot. She's always spamming her voice lines. But yeah, that, uh, I'm trying to think actually... What's a perfect film then? What about Back to the Future? Is that a perfect film? Is the Back to the Future films perfect? Predator is a perfect film. That's a perfect film, mate. That's got to be a perfect film. Um, Threads of Chiffle British movie from the 80s about a nuclear war. That actually sounds like up my alley. I really like, like Apocalypse kind of been end of the world kind of nukes war film. Yeah, I don't know. Empire Strikes Back. I guess Empire Strikes Back is a uh, yeah, I guess Empire's a perfect film. Can't really have any complaints of Empire. Um, also as well, like, people kind of found it a joke, like, oh, like, Luke jumps off, like, from such a high height, but he's a Jedi at the end of the day. Um, you know, there's actually a, a lot that makes sense in Episode 5. I think, I, th I used to think that Episode 5 was really overrated, but now as I grow older, it's like, actually, no, they were right about Episode 5. They were actually right. The fanboys were actually right. Ray says to Maul go back to your home world. She does as well. She's racist. Starship Troopers. It depends on, you know, your liking of films. 
Like, I did not enjoy the satire of Starship Troopers. I know people do, but... There's better satire out there, I think. Well, maybe not better satire out there, but I just didn't... I didn't like the satire. Only the first Starship Troopers. Um, District 9. Um... District 9? Is that a good film? I like, I, I've seen it, of course. I, I like the director. I like Chappie. Is Chappie a perfect film? <laughs> Is Chappie a perfect film? I don't know. Chappie's enjoyable. I'm not sure if it's perfect. Maybe it is. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game, by the way. Like and sub. I'm one of the best Battlefront players. Oh my god, I'm getting headshots for days, bro. Okay, we're playing more. We're going more. The Shining. Oh. Now, I need to watch The Shining again. I watched The Shining at quite a young age and I, I wasn't a fan of it, really. Well, I like some parts in it, but yeah, I wasn't totally fully invested. It's a film I need to watch again. I think there's that thing with The Shining as well. Like, It's like one of those films where everyone's like, oh, it's a brilliant film and everything. It's like... Okay, now I'm going to watch it. A Sealy. Um, well, it's the same director in it, but... I don't know, I wasn't too impressed with it. Dice removed HV, voice lines from Bosch, would ask Vader if he knew Ventress, and Vader mm -hmm. says no. Or Vader says Ray running with a lightsaber. Oh yeah, I've heard, I've, I do remember that one. I don't know, mate. That was probably the point where they're like, sack Dennis, but still pretended like he was in charge. Jurassic Park. Is Jurassic Park perfect? We captured a post. I, I quite like Jurassic Park. I, I, I always liked the third one. <laughs> when I was younger. I always thought the third one was the best one. Because the third one is the most entertaining. Um, well, I, I don't know. And it's a bit of a it's a bit of a fun time, really. But you know, now it's like uh, I don't know. It's average. Oh my god, we ran into a whole host of problems there. Yeah, I'm not sure about Jurassic Park. Matthias, Matthias Peterson explained. Aliens. Uh, I don't like even alien like. I'm not sure how I think- I think Alien is the best Aliens film there is. It's just the truth, okay? Um, now I would put the ranking, if I could, I would put it Alien, Alien 3, and then Aliens. But the problem with Alien 3 is Alien 3 is a good standalone film if the other films didn't exist. If the film for Alien 3 was just straight up like, um, not connected to the first or the second one, then it's like, okay, you got a really good story there and everything. But the thing is, how do the eggs get on the ship at the end when in the queen needs the incubator to create the eggs? So that's where it doesn't make sense. But Alien 3 killed off nukes and hicks. Yeah, but the thing is, though, like people go think that's like crazy or something. The the, the death of Newt and Hicks, honestly, I never really like cared for them all. Which, I don't know, is like preference, I guess. That's a, like a horrific opinion, but... Like, new, like new and Higgs, like the story's about Ripley and about the alien. And it ties it up perfectly by basically going, you know, Ripley and uh, the alien are dead and that's it. Gigi Ward played. So, Alien 2 is the best. So, Aliens. Yeah, I get why people like it. It's a, bo it's a bit more action-y for me. That's why I think Alien is just the best, okay? It's just, no doubt about it. Riddick. You mean Pitch Black? It was quite enjoyable. And then I was like watching it and I was like, okay, why is there a transgender kid in it? Um, which I don't think people really even knew about back then or really cared about. But then they watch a the film today and they're like, oh my god, they can't be having this in it. It's like, hold up a second, you just said you like Pitch Black. So, I yeah, I didn't really like it because of that. But everything else was in it was like not bad really. But yeah, that whole thing was, uh... 
There were some good horror moments actually as well. One of the coolest shots is when you've got what's his name? You got you got uh, is it Riddick in them or maybe it's the other guys, the other main characters, and they open the flashlight or whatever, and they see all the aliens around them in the dark. Oh, that's so good. Die Hard. Yeah, it's all your. It depends on your preference of films. Like, yeah, Die Hard's definitely a good film. But I don't know. It just felt like a standard action. I'm, I was just not. Never been that impressed with it, really. I've watched it like twice, but. Uh, doesn't Pedro Pascal have a. What sister is that? Bro, he probably does. Yeah, I don't know what's. I, it's all messed up, really. Hollywood's messed up. Like and sub, guys. Battlefront 3 is coming soon, don't worry. Battlefront franchise isn't dead yet. We are back. Die hard spin is die die less. Is that is, maybe you're just giving you bro you're just giving them a TV show idea? What are you doing? Oh my god, that was poor. Airbud three. Uh. Not seeing that, mate. No, not seeing that one. I'm just trying to think now of like the, the what the best film actually is. Maybe I just don't like any film because there's too much, too many problems with all of them. I like a lot of short films actually. That's one thing I could say. Uh, cigarettes and coffee. Was Anston? That's. That's, that's a banging film. THX 1138. That might be up there as one of the one of the best. I'm not even saying that sarcastically. There, that I think that's pretty good, right? Um, still here. Just got up. Yeah, we're just talking about films. What's the perfect film? You want to order pizza? Nice. Bit of marga, margarita pizza. Mortal Kombat, bro. Uh, DVRK, how you doing, bro? OG Matrix, my favourite. Matrix is pretty banging, bro. And, like, it's one of those films, though, like, you know, I watched it at a bit too young of an age to understand it. But then again, it's like that saying of, like, oh, if you were to have, like, children later on or whatever, um, would you show them the films at, like, a younger age so they can enjoy it? Or would you show it at a later age so there's a bit more shock value? And I watched it a bit too young to really understand some of it. So then I knew everything, what it was about. And then I watched it again. And it's like, okay, the impact's not as there, really. But So, you know, it's it's one of those films like, yeah, I love it. But yeah, I wish I watched it at a younger age. Also, like, one of my favorite films, like Predator, is like, bro, I watched that. And like, bro, I had to have like the first scene or the chopper scene cut out for me. Because, like, you know, the age I watched it, it was like, it's like one of the most inappropriate bits. But yeah. The Animatrix. It's supposed to be not bad. I, I, I don't know, I haven't watched much on it, but. It's a dog that plays soccer. <laughs> Din Jaren is a type of character that skipped tutorial. Oh, he 100% did. You didn't quite get the Matrix. Oh, it's just about like, um... Oh god, hold up. Yeah, it's basically just about like the world is a simulation, really, isn't it? But the ending of Matrix 1 isn't like a conclusion, it's just kind of like... Oh yeah, he's powerful, he defeats the bad guy and... You think it's over? Hot Shots, part 2. Not, not seen that one. Pepperoni and Mushrooms. <laughs> Cigarettes and Coffee is actually a and short film. It's very Tarantino-esque. Oh, Pulp Fiction. But then again, Pulp Fiction's very... But then again, the whole thing about Pulp Fiction is like... You know, there's coincidental moments, but... It's kind of based on that. I don't know, maybe coincidental moments aren't actually big of a huge deal for movies, but... I get I get a bit annoyed by it. I don't know. Lord of the Rings... Return of the King is your favourite film. 
Yeah, a lot of people are Lord of the Rings. I'm, I'm not. I'm not a fan. I'm not one of them. That guy just disappeared out of the game. Oh, what a nice shot. I always thought Lord of the Rings was a bit too nerdy. I don't know. No Country for Old Men? No, I haven't seen that. There's a lot of films here you mentioned that I should I should have watched, but If we're being honest, uh Firefly. Again, I've heard of that one, not seen it. Plot to Din Djarin is a cold blooded but Grogu mind tricked him into liking him. Yeah, I thought that was one thing I always thought was odd, right? Is that they have this kind of thing about like, oh, Din Djarin's like a cold flipping bounty hunter. Then he saves the kid. Like, bro, what? I don't know. I thought he was just cold blooded or something. No, I thought he was supposed to be like the Don. What were you rescuing this random like green kid for? Oh my God, I'm getting snipes in now. Oh come on, mate! Reload, reload. Dazed and confused. Oh, Richard Linklater. I know it, but I haven't. I haven't watched it. I, I like Richard Linklater to some degree. Um, I like the film Boyhood. There was a bit of propaganda in there. Um, unfortunately. Other than that, it's it's a pretty good film. And I say propaganda, like uh, the, you know, he's got like, there's a whole scene where they're putting up like Obama and Biden posters. So. But other than that, the film's good. It's a classic. But like, yeah, I can't deny, like, he's he's not a bad director. Good storyteller, really, as well. Does he do the stories? Oh, that's what I need, a quick scope. How could Pad... Wait, how could Padme love Anakin? I think Jedi will mind tricks work on me. Bro, maybe she was mind tricked. How old was Padme when Anakin was... And how old was he in The Phantom Menace? That's the real question we got to be asking. What was he? Eh, I, I couldn't really put a, like a zombie film in my ranking. I've only watched bits of it as well to be fair, but... I'm just fed up of hitting no shots. I'm just, I'm fed up, mate. With this flipping garbage. Hit the texture, mate. I, I'm shooting him at close range. Haha, -ha, Yoda. Did we even get the shot on him? Honestly, no scopes are just easier. Oh, damn it. Pirates of the Caribbean. Now that is a, a banging film. Do we go... What, what Pirates film is the best, though? Is it one? Or is it Dead Man's Chest? Dead Man's Chest is banging. I don't know. It's so hard to rent the Pirates films. I wouldn't say three. At World's End, people really love. But it kind of feels like the revenge of the Sith for the Pirate films. Like, it's it's good, but it's like... I don't know. It feels like there's other ones that are better. Then again, I like Beckett's death. It is a good finale. I won't, I won't lie about it. I think I just have to say Pirates one. Pirates one or Dead Man's Chest? I, d I don't even know. Bro, Dead Man's Chest has some good fights in it. I like the intro with the flipping, the weird village cult. What's up, Bonto? How you doing? Uh, I join and I see a droid could go kaboom. Yeah, I know. That's what we like. EXE Gaming, how you doing? How's the day, man? Welcome. Padme is five years older than Anakin, bro. Jack Sparrow can resist mermaids because one used to be Anu Amber Heard from Aquaman. <laughs> well, yeah, the mermaids are in the fourth film, though. And people don't like on the Stranger Tides. Because of Jack himself. Jack's supposed to be a bit of a different character there. Uh, I don't know. I'm, uh, maybe I'll watch him again. But uh, yeah, I think we're either talking about Jack... Uh, flipping 
Pirates of Caribbean 1 or 2. It's th there's no other choice, really, about what is the best Pirates film. Oh, come on. Bro! Bro, just hit the shots, man. You like Curse of Black Pearl and Barbosa was too cool. Yeah, that's the thing. Barbosa's, um, Barbosa's a pretty good villain. What's good about Barbosa as well, I don't even look at him like this, like, crazy villain in the first one. I kind of just look at him as, like, bro, just, he's just a gangster pirate. He's got, like, the coolest crew ever. Jack kind of talks to him pretty hilariously. That, you know, Jack can kind of convince him a bit. Barbosa's your favorite character. Uh, also as well, those guys who made, um, what's it called? Pirates of Caribbean, they made a western, which I recently watched and I thought was really good. It's called The Lone Ranger. And The Lone Ranger is basically Pirates of Caribbean, but it's a western. And that's banging. Uh, what's the best comedy movie? I think Dumb and Dumber. Ooh, I think I either go The Hangover or Fanboys. Fanboys is banging. It's a... Uh, if anyone hasn't watched it, they did put it on Prime. I don't know if they're going to put it anywhere else. But it's basically about a group of Star Wars fans. And they want to go watch The Phantom Menace early. And one of their... Because basically one of their friends has cancer. And, um... Yeah, they want to watch it early. So they break into Skywalker Ranch. And it is actually hilarious. Um... Yeah, either fanboys or... Or, um... Or The Hangover, I would say. Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, I, don't, I, I like Shaun of the Dead. I think the comedy's worn off a little bit. I don't know, because I watched it a bit. Hot Fuzz, yeah. Hot Fuzz is not bad. Hangover 4? I know, when's it coming out, mate? I love the Hangover films. Even Hangover 3, when you got Chow, and he's like, he's going over the flipping... Um, Caesar Palace, he's like, I love cocaine! Like and sub, guys, if you're enjoying the content, you know? Any fresh, fresh blood out there? <laughs> when Super Battle Droids explode, their pieces are B1 models. Are they actually? I didn't even notice. Right, this is the last game of the day. So what we're going to do, we're just going to play some mad, mad plays. Austin Powers. I was supposed to be really big in Britain, but I missed out. Funny stuff. What's that one where they go, um, oh, you haven't seen Avatar? You are gay. I'm so sad, bro. You are gay. What's that one? I always thought that clip was funny. I'm just the worst. I'm just the worst. Oh my god, I'm trying to kill a freaking Wookiee that's standing still. But yeah, at the moment, I'm watching uh, Neo Genesis Evangelion. And that is, um... A pretty well-written show, I'd say. Cowboy Bebop is probably my favourite show ever made. Or maybe Breaking Bad. Then again, there's a lot of moments of Breaking Bad that are coincidental, but... You know, I think that kind of plays on it a little bit. But yeah. Um... Yeah, uh, you, yeah, you got some good films there. Or good shows. Cowboy Bebop. That's definitely a must watch. You like the one with Beyonce? What? Rogue, you need to buy Battlefront 2 EA so you can um, have the banana mod. I know, I, I remember you mentioned this, but my, the, uh, the one thing is that my PC's trash. I have it on PS4. I actually think I do have it on PC. Um, because at one point they gave it out for free. But yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm not too bothered. I got it on PS4. We'll stream it sometime. British movie like is Hot Fuzz. Yeah, I have seen Hot Fuzz. The Cornetto trilogy in the whole, I quite like. I even like Outworld's End as well. But Hot Fuzz is not bad. <sighs> Shotgun is kind of boring. Any Doctor Who fans here? Um, no, I've never really liked Doctor Who. I tried to get into it a little while back and then... I was like, no, this is the worst bit of television I've ever seen. I'm British as well. I'm flipping, like... 
Anybody, anybody American is trying to say Doctor Who's a good show, like, um, I'm British, it's a British show, I've got a pretty valid opinion on this, Doctor Who is garbage. Uh, next, next, next take. Bro, we're just getting, what's this, I don't even have to move. Oh yeah, Donnie. We just got, hopped right in a little tank there. Oh, look at this. I'm trying to see where the enemy's at. Oh my god. It's disgusting. Maz, what's up? Update soon? Apparently. Well, update's coming out in a couple of days. I, I don't know. Talk to is... Yeah. Isn't Doctor Who new season a bit woke? Yeah. So, first of all, they replaced Doctor Who with a woman. Right. And now they replaced him with a black guy who I think is actually gay. Because, of course, they got to make the black guy gay. Stupid. Wait, we're cooking, are they? Yeah, um, but yeah, Doctor Who, it's, it's not good television. Not good. Also, as well, it's funny about like critics and stuff, and they go like, "Oh, I've always loved Doctor Who." Stupid idiot. That's what I say. They never watched a single episode. Pacific Rim Two is trash. I did hear about Pacific Rim. It's not one of I like really. I like these mo these big monster movies though, but yeah, not that. Yeah, most going on. They probably did. Disney... I think Disney actually worked with Doctor Who now. Uh... I think that is actually a, a thing. I know they had creative input on... The episode where... Um... Doctor Who is... You know the one where they brought David Tennant back? And, uh, for like a couple episodes. And there's that transgender kid and she's like... Oh, you know, the Doctor isn't a he, she... Is a they? It's like what? You're an idiot. Let's go. With this. Bro, I genuinely, I'm, I'm about to die, bro. My throat is killing. We we still go to the match though. I've been talking like a madman. I need gallons of water to survive. I'm just going to hop in that and see if I can get away with it. We need time travel. Wait, why would you want to join if you just said that? Captain Kennedy last year on her contract this year. Hopefully they can stop wokeness when she leaves. It's never going, bro. I think I think Disney have been paid off like by some like higher power. <coughs> I think the government have straight up just given them like pay rises or paychecks so that they can like propagate flipping the population or something. At this point, that's, they, they wouldn't be carrying off, they just keep losing money like this. They are, they've been paid by, uh, by the government. <laughs> that's, that's my honest take. <coughs> <coughs> You can't play because your key is broken. Why is this making everything... I don't want them flipping YouTube to get me, but... Um, oh yeah, it's the flipping joke from South Park, isn't it? Lame and gay. <laughs> <coughs> Where Mate, we're smoking this team though. We're gonna, we're gonna win. Is that a Chewbacca? Chewbacca's on a speeder bike, and he just got killed. Why would Chewie be on a speeder bike? Which is ultimate cap. Oh my god. I 
My school is getting cancelled. Oh my gosh. YouTuber on to you, bro. If I die, I'm gay. Okay, I'm not going to die. Rest of the match, you're not going to do it. Oh my god, the shots are just on point. Like and sub, Donny. I've got like the best aim in Battlefront 2. It's honestly facts. You good? Yeah, man. <laughs> you can we destroy this turret? We got like our whole team here. They're not destroying the turret. Come on, mate. Come on, post for the empire. We're getting flanked. Oh, this is bad positioning. Oh no, don't, don't die. Oh, we've been completely flanked here. I need to go up top. It's my best position. Oh my god. Did you see him go over here? It's a pretty good structural tower. You're going straight in with this one? I'm trying to do well here, mate, but I'm... I didn't even know about this tower till today. Cancel culture trails are like Darnine Rises of Death. If I die, I'm getting... I know, I'm, I'm not trying to die. We'll try to actually play as well. Ah, we won. Told you guys, I'm a pro. Actual pro. Like and sub if you haven't already. This is the end of the stream. Um, thanks everyone for joining. Hope you, have a good, hope you had a, a good amount of entertainment from this. I'm going to go drink an absolute gallon of water. Losing his game, we won though. Oh mate, I actually like this map as well. We're not playing though. We ain't going forward. It was an awesome stream. Thanks a million mate. Enjoy your day. Have a good one today. I'm not, we're not going to do a rogues raid. Um, you know, we do one every now and then, but... Um, thanks for sub. Yeah, man. GG well played. Rory, if you say gay or someone, how do you know what's wrong? Okay, right, 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 I'm not talking before I get in trouble. Right. Um, well, exactly, Bontoy, exactly. Right, have a good one. Sparrow, Bontoy, Shane, Muskulin, Diddy, Eternal, Jackson... Uh, one time Maz. Uh, who are we missing? I know there's more, but I can't. I can only go up to a certain amount on live chat. Uh, EXE Gaming. Who else we got here? Well, that's the that's the that's the people I can see on the chat. Suns Beer as well. Have a good one, man. Thanks for joining. Uh, Jackson the Goat. Jackson's the Goat for real. Anyway, uh, yeah, Shane. I said you, bro. I don't even know how to pronounce that name in Russian. But yeah, have a go on, guys. In a bit. See you later.